starting this video off with showing you my new Disney mug. If you guys don't know, me and my husband Dave are huge Disney fans and not being able to go to Disneyland right now is so tough. And so we actually went to Disney Springs a couple weeks weekends ago, like maybe two or three weeks ago, just to like have a moment in Disney. And we bought a bunch of new mugs and we got this one, which we have the E and the D and we could never find the F and we ended up finding the F and so... This one is really popular because this is Fantasyland, so it has Tinkerbell. Side note, me and Dave actually booked a trip. We've booked a few trips this year. All of them have gotten canceled, so we're like crossing our fingers so hard that this one actually goes through because we did book a Disney World trip. We already had our plane tickets to Florida. It's actually to Fort Lauderdale because we were going to go to the Bahamas this year. But we had to cancel that one because the Bahamas closed it to the U.S. And instead of going to Fort Lauderdale, we just were like, we'll just change our flight to Orlando and go to Disney World. And we're going with a couple friends, which is really exciting. That's about the mug. Let's start talking about the video, which is my Project Pan update. I feel like the last month flew by. I couldn't believe it. It had already been a month since I had started this project. I don't know what it was. Maybe it's because things have opened up a little bit more and we can go out a little bit more. Maybe that was like making the month seem faster because on my day off I could do something. But in general, this month flew by with these products. And I am pretty happy with the amount of progress I've done. And if you are new to the project, I'm just going to reference my first video because I pretty much talk in depth about why I'm doing this project and my rules within. And this is a project pan where everything I get is gratis because I work at Sephora. All these things are things that I get in gratis. But not only is it like a project pan, it's also like a reckoning video slash review video. So I do have like a rotating system. And I was able to finish a few products, which means I'll put a few more things into this project. And then there's one thing that didn't work for me that I'm just going to take out and put something new in. So let's just get into the original 10 products that I had. And then if I finished a product towards the end, I'll let you guys know the new things that are coming in. So lots of just reviews of the products because that's the whole point of these videos is so I can know my thoughts. So the first product I actually can't share with you. If you guys have seen my latest declutter, which was my eye stuff, I'll leave it up in the cards. But I had the Kosas 10 second shadow and I decluttered it in that video, not even thinking that it was in a project pan. And I'd already passed it along to somebody else. So I don't have that to share with you. And I liked the color of it. It was really pretty. It was like a nice like coppery bronze color. However, since it was a 10 second shadow, it tried so incredibly fast and you really didn't have a lot of working time. And it was so metallic that I feel like I couldn't use a lot of products with it because um, they all just kind of looked weird. So I think if you were doing just like a one shadow look and that was the only thing on your lids, that would work really well. Or maybe if you're doing like a cut crease situation where like the lid is just that metallic shade, that would be really pretty, but it's just too much work and it's not a style I typically go for. So I ended up panning it off to someone else and I don't have that to share with you. Sorry that I forgot I was in this project pan until I was referencing my uh, my intro video and then I was like, oh crap, that was there. The Let's go into the things that I finished because I am really happy that I was able to finish a few products. So the first one I have is this hair product. I was kind of expecting to finish this because it is just a small size of the Bumble and Bumble Hair Dresser Invisible Oil. It's a heat protectant and a primer. And I know this is a really popular product because it is like a all-in-one situation. It can help with detangling. It can give you a little bit of hydration and conditioning aspects. It also has the primer in there. So if you are going to be doing a bunch of things to your hair, you can use it that way. It's also the heat protectant. So if you're someone who uses a lot of hair tools, it will work for, you th for that as well. It was full when I started this and I did finish it up within this month. And I feel like this product could work for a lot of people. If you do have a lot of hairstyles that you do, or if you do use a lot of heat tools and you need that heat protectant, it has those extra benefits for you that you may really enjoy. But for me, it just wasn't my favorite thing. I much prefer like a leave-in conditioner, something lightweight and just makes my hair softer, makes my curls a little bit more tamed, but makes my hair still feel like hair. That's what I would prefer, where this one felt like I almost had like a hairspray in my hair. Not 
that it made it stiff, but it had that like weird like texture that I didn't really care for. And my hair is naturally pretty wavy, and I feel like this kind of weighed down my waves and made them a little bit straighter, but not in like a cute straight. It was like they it did tame my waves, but it almost made them like way down and stringy. So I didn't really care for it. I did use it up. I think I, my favorite part of it was that it did help detangle my hair. So if I took a shower, put this in, it helped a little bit. Like I used it last night as the last little bit. And it did help like detangle my hair, but it definitely feels like there's something in it still. Um, it doesn't quite like make my hair softer um, as like a leave-in conditioner or something that's just like a nice light spray would do. Also, this is just a temporary color. It's like a, it looks really fuchsia on the video, but um, it's just a temporary that we are trying out at work. Um, well, not at work. I just want to try it out, but it's the Moroccan oil. Anyways, next I have this Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. This is a top seller and this is for good reason if you live in maybe a humid state or if you need something to look matte all day long, maybe you're going to a wedding somewhere um but this is just a great thing to like keep your skin matte and flat and stay all day and not break down it didn't work for me and i was talking to one of my co-workers because whenever i would use it within like a couple hours my skin was just my foundation was just breaking apart which is the total opposite of what it's supposed to be doing it's supposed to be like a setting spray where your makeup is going to stay but for me after a couple hours, my makeup was breaking apart. It was just like acting funny with everything that I was wearing. And I use water-based foundations and moisturizers and all that such. So it wasn't like it was like breaking apart against something that was oily or something that it didn't work well with. So I was talking to my coworkers about it because she was having issues with, with another one of theirs that didn't quite work with her. It was a whole story, but we were talking about this one in particular. And I was like, do you like it? Because I feel like it's not working for me and it's breaking apart all my foundations that I've been trying with it. And she was saying that if you use a lot of moisturizers and a lot of like hydrating things, then it's not going to like mix well and it won't set correctly versus if you were using it with a matte foundation or something that's a lot more flat, it's supposed to help like kind of like suck it into your skin. Not That sounds weird, but it's supposed to like help make those things set. But since I use such hydrating options, it sometimes can just not work well and it kind of just like melts into the foundation instead of like keeping it setting, instead of setting the foundation. This makes, this sounds really confusing. But in general, it didn't work with what I was using because I typically go for those hydrating dewy looks and I don't use a lot of powders and it I don't use anything that's matte at all. So for me, it just was actually like mixing in with my foundations versus setting my foundations. That's why it didn't quite work with me for my skin, but I did like using it for like foiling eyeshadows. I use this all up just for me trying it and doing trial and errors with different foundations and doing it like before my makeup versus after my makeup. It didn't quite work for my skin, but I was, I can see how it could work for others if you are maybe someone who is super oily you need something that is going to set onto your face because you wore a mat mattifying primer and a mattifying foundation this could work but for me i use everything hydrating to get like this nice dewy look and then i would put this on top and it just like mixed in with it so not my favorite thing it didn't work out but i did finish it so we have that next let's go into this product here it's almost done like I would say if I had like another few days this would be done and this is the ultra repair cream from first aid beauty and it was pretty much full at the beginning the line is way up here and as you can see it's way down here it's probably even a little bit lower because I can see through the bottle and it's like right about there it is almost complete and <clears throat> I'm considering this done for this project, even though there is still a little bit left. I'm going to be done in just a moment, so I don't want to like wait until the next round to add something else in. So just that's what's happening. But I was surprised how much I liked this. So this has been like a top seller for ages, and it's very popular for those who have sensitive skin because there's no fragrance in there. Really clean ingredients, really gentle ingredients. And I was expecting to not like it for some reason. I was just thought it was just like a, eh, it's just a moisturizer. It's just like a nice lightweight moisturizer. And it is a nice lightweight moisturizer that is great for like 
head to toe. So it's great for this face. If you have sensitive skin, you can't quite find a moisturizer that works for you. I really liked it for my face, but I'm using other things that has more like anti-aging benefits, but I did use it a few times on my face. It didn't break me out or anything. I did enjoy it. But what I loved about it was actually me using it for my body. Now, if you've been on my channel through any project pan, I always try to put in like a body lotion because I cannot finish them up to save the life for me. I just don't remember to use them. I don't like the way it make my skin feel. I don't like being sticky or having it like settle or like not sinking in. Like I hate that feeling. But I did try it at first on my hands because with at work, I'm like washing my hands constantly and using something like this like in my purse was really nice just to keep my skin on my hands just like not dying. <laughs> so I really liked it on my hands because it sunk in pretty quickly. There was no fragrance. It's not competing against any fragrances that I'm wearing. And so then I started using it on my body and I really liked it for a body cream. Again, it's unscented, which I think is what I like about it because it's not going to compete again with any fragrance. It sinks in really, really quickly, but leaves my skin really hydrated. Like I normally have like the weird bumps that are right here. I feel like since using this, that has helped quite a bit because my skin isn't like dehydrated. Um, so I really liked it for a body cream. So that's how I was able to use it so quickly as I was using it head to toe. So I really enjoyed it. I could see myself getting another one um, once I finish up the ones that I have in gratis because I have a few of these because it's pretty popular that they give it to us because it's a top seller for theirs. And now I understand why. It's just like a good solid moisturizer and I liked it a lot. So I am considering this done for this project just because it's going to be gone probably like a couple days. Um, so I'll put something else in its place. But I do recommend that moisturizer, especially if you have drier skin. I do have a product that I'm reckoning with. This is an item that I've used quite a bit and I know my thoughts and opinions, but I'm not going to keep it. This is the Kiehl's Powerful Strength Line Reducing Concentrate. It's their vitamin C serum. It's a 12% vitamin C, which is pretty decent. And I like the texture of it, but I think it's the texture that's not working for me. So the texture is very like emollient. It's very like, almost feels like there's an oil embedded into it. So it has like this weird texture that's like hydrating, almost feels like a moisturizer and it's warming. It has like a warming sensation. At first I thought I was just going crazy and my hands were just warm, but I have noticed that it does actually have like a warming sensation. I don't know if that's a good thing. <laughs> um, maybe it does something. I haven't seen anything in there information that says that it's warming maybe it's a reaction that i'm having with it but it has a sensation i didn't mind it it just felt nice when i was applying it and i liked this the consistency of it i didn't really see any result but i only used it for a month a couple things about this product is one i was flying through it um it's already halfway gone and this is a full-size product it's 1.7 ounces it's halfway gone. I wasn't crazy. I would just do like one pump at a time, but I think because of how thick it is, it just produces a lot and you need quite a bit to cover your face because it is thicker. So you can't, don't have like the way to like spread it further. I hope that made sense. So I was going pretty quickly, but I was also noticing that I had a lot of texture in my skin and almost felt like my skin, pores were clogged, like something was clogging my pores. It took me a while to decipher through the things that I was using to figure out which thing was clogging my pores. And it was this guy. This is the culprit. I always felt like after washing my face, it still felt like I had it on my skin, like it wasn't coming off. And I'd have to use an exfoliator to like deep cleanse to get the product out of my skin. So I am going to just say goodbye to this one. Um, I, there's so many vitamin C's out there and this one's pretty pricey and for how fast I was going through it, I don't see the price point working out. Um, so that one is also parting from my project pan. Let's go into the five items that are remaining in this project pan. The first one here, to be honest, I totally forgot that was in my project pan. I used it a handful of times, but not to the point that I was like, using it in a project pan, like the amount that I would use it to try to finish it up or get more use out of it. And that's the Armis Beauty Illuminizer. It's just their cream color. It's pretty, um, but I've only, again, used it a couple of times. So it's staying in the project. Next I have is the 
Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Pencil. This is in the shade Zero. I typically only use this on my waterline because it is waterproof. I normally don't like go below the waterline or on my lid. So that's how I've been using it most days. Some days I do like maybe just like the outer corner on the top of my lid. But I've been using it pretty much every day. Of course, I didn't use it today because I'm about to go shopping and I didn't want to um, have like a full face on. But I did really enjoy this and I could see myself picking up other colors. I did pick up a couple color eyeliners from Marc Jacobs because this was kind of the culprit of doing that because I was like, oh, I forgot how much I love eyeliner. I did have it measured and I feel like I did pretty well within this past first month. So you can see the mark way up here and then when I go from my measuring point, there we are. So I am pretty... And I'm pretty impressed with the amount of uses I've gotten out of it. I have sharpened it maybe about four times total, and I really enjoy it. The next product I have is this fragrance. Oh, I forgot. This is something that is leaving my project pan, but I'm not getting rid of it. Um, so this is the Skylar Salt Air. I've decided with my fragrances, I'm just going to rotate it every month, um, just because my preferences change depending on the season and mood, and I have so many that I can't just like keep it in for months without trying other things. So this is Skylar Salt Air. It is really nice. It's definitely like a aquatic scent. Like it's very fresh and beachy, but not a beach as in like sunscreen and you're reading a book on the beach in the sun, like on a beach day. It's more aquatic as in like I'm going to a lighthouse and maybe walking along the sand or going to a marina and going boating. Like it's definitely more like nautical than beachy kind of aquatic scent <laughs> that's kind of specific and this is I can see be me gravitating to it more in like April or March where it's like cooler and it's just like a rainy day I can see myself using it then so it's still in my fragrance family it's just not going to be noted on this particular project so I forgot to mention that one sorry um, and then we also have the Kosas Lip Oil. I love this so much. So we wear a mask all day long at work and my lips have gotten pretty dry. Um, so I started using this just like on days that I wasn't wearing a mask because I don't want the mask to stick to it. But then I started using it underneath my mask and it's fine because it just feels like a lip balm that's really hydrating. So I really do love this. It's already halfway gone. Like look at that guy. Um, it's just like a clear gloss. I really like it. It doesn't stay glossy all that often because it is more lip oil-ish. So I feel like it's more like a nourishing item than it being something that you're going to wear for long periods of time. Let me just put it on just so you can see how glossy it is. But you see, it's just like a really nice shine. So love that one. And then the final thing that is remaining in the project pan is this one from Kiehl's. It's the second Kiehl's product, and this is their Midnight Recovery Concentrate. This one's definitely going way slower than the other Kiehl's product. A little bit goes an extremely long way. It's just like a overnight oily treatment, and I really like it. My skin just looks refreshed in the morning, and I, I kind of like it. Um, so for that one, I did have it measured as best I can because you can't like see it through the bottle very well, but that is... It's going pretty slowly. I can see that one almost being worth the price. I forget the price of it, but I feel like I'm getting way more use out of it than that um, vitamin C. All right, so I feel like I've been talking about the products that have been in this project pan for a really long time. I'm just going to quickly go over the things that are coming into this project. So since I am taking out six items, one I decluttered, the Kiehl's one didn't work out for me, so this, this is decluttered. The fragrance I'm just like switching out, and then three products I finished. So I feel like that's pretty successful. I have six items going into this project, and I do like to have similar items, similar categories, replace similar categories. So a hair product replaces a hair product, skincare, skincare, you get the gist. So for the fragrance, I am putting in this Nest Sun Kissed Hibiscus. This is their newest one. It's definitely more of like that beachy, going to the beach to read a book in the sun with sunscreen on. Like that's the type of beachy scent that's happening with this guy versus the aquatic scent that's like more marina style. I really enjoy this one. It's definitely like floral, almost smells like sunscreen, but not quite. <laughs> I really like it. It definitely gives me like a summer vibe. So I can see myself using quite a bit of this this 
month just because I feel like it's definitely in tune with the mood that I have. So I like it. You can't really see the progress just because the packaging is a little bit different than the other one. But I will let you guys know how much I've used. Maybe I can see if I've used half or something. We'll see about that. The next product I have is the hair product, which is this one from Living Proof. I'm putting this guy. This is the full dry volume blast. And it's supposed to be like a root lifter, I believe. It's supposed to be like a texturizer, volumizer. We shall try this out. Um, I'm not a hair person. I should mention that I'm not a hair person. So pretty much me trying the hair things is like trial and error. So we shall see if I like this type of product. And that's brand new. The next product I have is the makeup item since I took out the Kosas product. I'm putting in this primer. So this is the Lila B A Glow Priming Oil. I actually have two of these from Gratis and it goes pretty quickly. So I am already to here, so probably about a third of the way done. It's more oily than the Hourglass number 28, which is the one that I love. That's like my favorite, but I'm trying to use these ones up before I repurchase that one. So that's the reasoning why I want to put this guy in just to see if I like it as much because that one lasted me months and months and months and this one is going pretty fast. The other makeup product I'm putting in since I finished the Urban Decay is actually not gratis. This is like me making an exception and hear me out. So I am getting probably about a dozen foundations in gratis in the next month or two. That's a lot. And I did recently purchase a foundation that I really want to know my thoughts and opinions, super, super excited about, and I need to make sure I can focus on this one during this month or during the project pan so I don't forget about it with the new things that are going to be coming in. So I did purchase it, but I'm really excited about it. Anyways, this is the new Sephora Collection Foundation. It's their S Clean line. It's their new like clean beauty line, and it's supposed to be like a glowy tinted moisturizer. I've used it a couple times. It's definitely not as glowy as you would expect. I feel like more like satin to demi matte finish, um, but I have noticed I really like it with primers underneath that are glowy because I feel like you can see a little bit of the light underneath. It has pretty decent coverage. That's my thought so far. I want to give it more love and use and see maybe if my thoughts have changed, how it works, um, just because it's such a new product for Sephora collection. So I am going to put this into the project pan. I know it's technically not gratis, but it is still a Sephora product and I really want to know my thoughts and opinions. So that's why it's in here. It's still like brand new. I've only used it like twice. And then finally, we have two skincare products coming into this project. This one I really don't know much about, but it is the Beauty Counter Counter Time, and this is their Peptide Serum, so it's helped with radiance, anti-aging. The packaging is adorable. It is glass, it has a nice pump. Um, I haven't used this at all, so hopefully it works with my skin, but I'm really excited about it. We, this is a brand new brand for Sephora, and they gave us a bunch of gratis to try, and I think this would be something I would really enjoy. And since I'm taking out that other vitamin C, I'm putting this guy in its place. And then I'm also putting in one more skincare product, and this is another newer brand to Sephora, and this is Goop. This is the Gwyneth Paltrow line, and this is her Good Jeans, oh, this is her Goop Jeans All-in-One Nourishing Face Cream. I've used this one for about a week or so now, and it's pretty thick. It's really hydrating. I would not wear this underneath makeup just because it is pretty, pretty moisturizing. It takes a little bit longer to sink in, but my skin has really been liking it. Um, it's pretty pricey. It's like $95, so it's expensive, so it should work really well. But I definitely wouldn't use this for the daytime just because it is a little bit more dewy than I would want in my moisturizer for the daytime. But we shall see how my skin goes with more use. So that's it for this project pan. Taking out six items, putting six more in, some hits, some misses, some using ups, and I'm really happy with how this project is turning out. So if you like this video, please subscribe and stick around. And thank you so much for coming by today. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.